Hi, little update video. Um, six month review on these Hyatt Selvage denim jeans. Um, these are the Skin R. Um, if you follow my channel, you'll probably say to me, this isn't a six month review, you've had these for a year. Um, if that's what you're gonna say, you've probably watched the, uh, the channel a bit too carefully, but um, you're right, these were up for their six month review in January this year. It's now end of July. Um, I haven't worn them that much since January. Um, I did film a review video back in January. Um, got some footage of them being washed um, using a Samurai um, Thunder Soap, which is absolutely brilliant. Review separately coming up on that. Um, but I lost the footage and I couldn't be bothered to recover it from the SD card. Um, if you've ever tried doing that, it's a real pain with video. So I sort of lost a bit of, enth bit of enthusiasm. And also, after the wash, I've got some more jeans, um, which I started wearing. So I kind of forgot about these for a little while. So for the winter months of this year, I had these Inky Blue Wonders from Ironheart, um, 25 ounce denim, absolutely amazing, amazing material to, to wear. Um, I'll do a separate review of these. I actually picked these up um, sort of second hand off the Ironheart forum. Um, a, a guy who was very kind and uh, offered them up and uh, they're amazing. So I'll do a video on these um, at some point. And I also started wearing these a lot more, which are the unbranded um, black selvage chino sort of denim, um, because I'm really interested to just to draw out some fades. And you can so start seeing it popping out on the pockets here, but it takes a lot of work to get these to fade. But anyway, back to the subject of the video, the Hyatts. So as I say, um, Six month review really came up in January. Um, this time round, I did try and track the wear. And I started doing a little tally on the inside of the pocket there. You can see when I started wearing them, which was just over a year ago. See the strikes, and then you can see the wash date, which was at the beginning of Jan this year. And I've worn them six times since then. Um, answers a question that I always had. Um, there's 84 strikes there in six months. So when people say, why don't my jeans fade as quickly as everyone else's? Um, simple answer is probably you're not wearing them as much. So I was wearing them probably every other day or equivalent of, and not even full days at that. So no wonder they don't fade as quick as some do, um, some dedicated denim wearers. So time for review. Um, it's no bad thing actually to take a look sometime after washing because I always find that washing kind of allows the uh, the colour to blend a bit and the the fades for me at least I believe that they pop out after a couple of washes after your uh, sorry a couple of wears after your wash so it's no bad thing um, so we'll hop in for a few details um, we'll pop them on and then we'll wrap up for a little bit of detail now. Um, you can see the nice whiskers coming out from the, the crotch, if you will. Um, you can see the buttons popping through, little highlights there, which is always quite nice. Always like the highlights, the little bits of edging that fade first. Places where things rub, where things wear, always looks great. Top of the pockets as well, you can see a little silhouette there of my pocket knife. Always carry this uh, Victorinox waiter. Really nice little pocket knife. Don't know it's there and uh, it's got just about what you need to be useful. Um, nice detailing with the red runoff. You know, these jeans really are packed with details. Um, nice red rivet button there. The pockets which I showed you earlier but with the wear sort of tally there. Branded copper studs with a nice little bit, bit of patina on. Moving down onto the knees, you can see the knees have lightened up nicely. With some nice little whiskers popping off around the edges. No stacking um, as I cuff these. Um, the cuffs, a little bit of grot in there. Um, but some wear on the cuffs there. Obviously when you wash them, I try and get it folded at a different point to minimise that deterioration. 
moving around to the seat. Nice highlights off the back of the pockets. The pockets are sort of double lined from the um, midpoint there. Sometimes you get a bit of differentiation on the, the lining, or the, sorry, on the fades. Uh, the pockets are nicely highlighted. Nice red rivet stud there. The yoke, I believe it's called. Nice highlights running down from there. General, general fading on the seat from where. On the back of the knees, you can start seeing the honeycombs popping through. Um, nice lightning where the folds occur. A really dark indigo in the crease. Um, with honeycombs, what I find is that this is where your jeans are going to blow out. It's quite a stress point. Um, what I did promise myself with these, which I didn't actually do, um, was to soak. So no detergent, no heat, just a cold soak, just to take out some of the, um, the build-up of dust and debris in the denim, just to try and release that um, friction between the fibres, which I think leads to the blowout at the back of the knees. Didn't actually do that in the first six months, but I think I'll try and do it at the nine month mark. As for the front, um, no real stacking to note. A little bit of lightning on a couple of creases, but because it's cuffed, it's not stacking. Bit of wear on the inside, where it was previously folded, as I say. Change where the fold is when you recuff it after washing, and that minimizes the deterioration. Okay, just wrapping up, um, still really enjoying these. Love the detail, love the fact it's made in the UK, made in Wales. Uh, if you want a bit more on history, check out some of my older videos on the Hyatt products. Um, would I recommend them? Yeah, I think I would. There's a, there's a million and one different denims out there, and these are by no means cheap. They're sort of around the 250 mark, if I recall correctly. Um, proper salvage denim, as I've shown you. Um, so they're not cheap and there is a lot to choose from elsewhere but what I really like about these as I said is the amount of detailing that goes into them the care and thought about the whole um, sort of customer experience with them free repairs for life which is really useful and uh, yeah just supporting UK fashion so yes I would recommend them by all means there's a million other things to choose out there and as I say, they're not cheap, but try them out, give it some thought, certainly if, in the U if you're in the UK, and I don't think you'll be disappointed. Okay, well, I hope that's of use to you, um, and I'll probably come back, say, 12 months' time, or at the 12-month mark. Um, got some other downs to review, certainly I'll do a review of that Ironheart. If you haven't seen my channel before, um, please check it out. If you're into quality footwear, Red Wings, Sarah Goods, that sort of thing, Denim, um, fountain pens, pocket knives, watches, coffee, that sort of stuff. Check out the channel. We might share some other common interests. And uh, hopefully I'll see you for the next video. Okay, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.